What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Walter Tuomi, representing Neo Defective Gaming, a.k.a. Neo Defective. You can find me over on twitch.tv slash Neo Defective every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday consistently streaming for your viewing pleasure, usually around the demon hours. That is going to be the 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys, today's news is a repetitive one in such a way that the only reason we keep bringing it up is because the voice actress of Bayonetta 1 and 2, Helena Taylor, kind of keeps stirring the pot, all right? She took to Twitter again today, if you hadn't been following the news, to refute some of the information that had come out by Jason Schreier. If you don't know Jason Schreier, he is from Bloomberg, formerly of Kotaku, and he is pretty much the best video games journalist that we have on the planet right now, on the planet Earth. He is the best. He discussed that she had received, or had been offered, I'm sorry, $4,000 per session, of which there were to be five sessions, and made a minimum of 15000 should she accept that offer. Of course, she refused and said that she was only offered 4000 flat, but information has come out that that was not the case. But she refuses to back down. Look, if you know the story of her, she shot her shot, and she missed the mark. She tried to go for a higher number, some reports of 200,000, of which, again, she has said that that was not the case. If you're behind the movement of voice actors are underpaid, that's 100%, right? Voice actors these days are underpaid and undervalued, and that conversation should be had. But unfortunately, she tried to hijack that movement with her rage upon not receiving what she thought that she should be compensated for. I'm glad she did what she did. She shot her shot. But what you don't do is lie about it and hijack a movement and call for a boycott about a, a, from, a, from a game on which your peers are also involved. They've been with you for years working on this same video game. Families have been working on this video game and have suffered because of crunch hours, if that's possibly. I don't I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, but it usually is. And that people talk about it openly now. But what I'm saying is you had Jennifer Hale, who's also a, a great voice actress by any means, pretty much the standard. You had all your other peers that worked on this video game with you throughout the years, through Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2. For, for some reason, you felt the need to claim that you wanted to have a boycott. And using the voice actors are underpaid narrative is totally okay if you weren't offered what is considered a normal voice acting wage you were supposedly offered 15,000 and Jason Schreier also and multiple sources have confirmed this but you again still deny it Helena Taylor went on Twitter again to say yes I was offered more than $4,000 but this is no way near to $250,000 so again, she lied and then lied again about the lie that she had already told. She has some explaining to do if she ever decides to confess. All right. Unfortunately, though, it seems like her ego is not her amigo and she keeps on pushing the issue, making it worse, digging a hole, pretty much losing all her credibility in the industry. And I don't know if you guys know, but she's not a spring chicken. <laughs> She's, uh, father time might have touched her on the shoulder to let her know, look, you're done in this industry. It's possible. I'm not saying she is. Maybe she has friends in high places that will hire her regardless of the situation, but she's already gone out of the way to kind of tarnish anything that she's done, all the work that and the years that she's put into the industry. I want all voice actors to have their voices heard and in the industry and actually make more money and have health care. But this is not the way to do it. Okay. <laughs> it's a, it's an unfortunate scenario, but I, I wish for the best for her. And if anything, guys spread this information, like share this video. And the reason I ask you to do that is because if we have anything to go on, if the evidence has presented itself of Bayonetta one and two, both all time classics, let me remind you that Bayonetta 2 was given a 10 out of 10 on GameSpot. So don't boycott this game. Instead, maybe do the opposite. 
support the developers, support all the people that worked on this game that now might have to suffer because uninformed individuals who just heard one side of the story, Helena Taylor's side, are trying to decide with her because they don't know the full information. Maybe they weren't on Twitter yesterday or the day. They don't know who Jason Schreier is. They don't know Jennifer Hale. They don't know this whole backstory. All they heard was one side. But let this be a lesson to everybody involved. If you put your ego to the side, instead of siding with one side of the story, which someone claims is fact, make sure you do your due diligence and look up the other side of the story. Or if the other side story comes out, wait for that to happen and then formulate an opinion and judge accordingly. All right. Bayonetta comes out this week on the 28th of October. Go buy it. Support your voice actors. They're the ones who worked on this, all right? And did this loyally. Some of them, this was their first gig. They don't deserve to be shamed like this. It's new and effective. Signing out. Stay dirty, humans.